The Transport Minister, Mrs Barbara Castle, has sponsored the Road Safety Bill, which was published yesterday. Contained in it is a plan to curb drunken driving. Any motorist who refuses to take the breathalyzer test will be liable to a £50 fine. Drivers who have had too much to drink will be encouraged to pull into the side of the road and sleep it off. Some medical experts believe that the hardened drinker is not affected by two or three whiskers. Others disagree and say that the real conception of the argument is, in fact, if you take alcohol at all, do not drive. Last night I spoke to a London businessman and a car dealer who were just about to leave a public house and drive home. Excuse me, sir. Have you um, just been in that pub over there? You've just come out, have you? you yes, I a, have. You had a pleasant evening in there, I understand, have you? Oh, yes, very pleasant yes. indeed. Have you um, had much to drink? Well, I suppose... Um, who, are you, who are you, by the uh, way? BBC. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Well, I suppose I had about, um, about eight whiskeys. About eight whiskeys? Yeah. Hmm, something like that. And how far are you going now, sir? Where Brighton. are you driving to? To Brighton, Brighton are you? Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you're, you're capable of uh, controlling this car after eight whiskeys? Well, I would say so. I've been driving for about 30 years. Yeah. Oh, yes. I'm capable of controlling it all right. Eight whiskies or 15 whiskies. And uh, the uh, distance from uh, here to, to Brighton, how long do you think it'll take you to get down to Brighton? Oh, under the hour. Under the hour. Mm -hmm. So you'll be driving at, um, what, um, 70s, 80s? Yes, yes. It's probably 90 at times if one gets a good stretch. I see. What about the 70 mile an hour speed limit, then? Well, I mean, the thing is, you... Um, one drives according to one's ability, and uh, I'm perfectly capable of controlling this car or any other car at 90 or 100. I mean, I'm not really concerned with the 70 mile an hour speed limit. No. But what about other people on the road, sir? Do you have any consideration for them? I mean, oh, yes, I'm a very considerate driver. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yes, very considerate and capable, so the things, two things go together. I see. Mm. Thank you very much indeed. Sir. Not at all. A pleasant not journey home. Mm, thank, thank you. you. Excuse me, sir. Hi. How much have you had to drink, sir, in there? Yeah, I've had a few pints. You have? A couple of whiskies. How many pints, sir, would you say? Ooh, about six. About six pints? Yeah. Um, and you're going to drive home now, sir, are you? Yeah, I'm going you're to drive home. home. Yeah. Um, Why? What's all this about, then? Well, we're just doing a survey, sir, on people who drink and drive. Do you feel capable of controlling this car? You think... No, of course I do. I wouldn't have it otherwise, would I? Well, no, sir, probably not. But how, how do you feel about other people on the road? I mean, you may feel confident of doing this. Of course I'm confident. I can drive. Drink doesn't worry me. Yes, no, no, well, what's the idea? You come up to a bloke when he's driving out from having a good time in a pub, asking questions, what's the matter with you? Hey? Um, well, I, can I, drink, I can drink, I can drive. Yes, I, I don't, I don't have to offend. I, I don't have to worry about other people, they can get out my way, I can get out their way, I can drive all right. Yes, sir, but um, you don't wish to cause any uh, any other people any harm on the road? Why should I cause them? I, can, I, like I won't cause them any harm. It doesn't hurt. I can drive. Yes, and how fast will you be driving, sir, do you think? The usual amount. Where well, it says 40, I do 40. Where it does 30, I do 30. After that, I do 80 if I want to. And what about the 70 mile an hour speed limit, sir? 70 mile an hour speed limit? Well, yeah. that's all right. It doesn't matter. The 70 mile an hour speed limit, I'll do 70. If it's a bit clear and there's nobody about, I'll do 90. The car will do 120. In the 70 mile an hour speed limit, you'd do 90? Well, there's nobody about. I can do 120. I can do 90. I mean, after all, this is a bit much, isn't it? No, you I'm come up to a bloke and he has a good I drink. I've just about had enough of you people in, uh, coming up and asking questions and all this stuff. I don't wish paper to, and everything else. I don't wish to I've offend just you. About, just about had enough of it all. Look, do you mind? The tyre marks are still on my shoes. The interesting fact is, they both believed that they were in full control of their vehicles. As it happens, I know they both arrived at their destinations without incident. But this, of course, is no proof. No proof that they were or were not in full control of their cars. Surely, it is we who have to choose between drinking and driving. The strong arm of the law, or the strong arm of the barmaid.